Okay, so let's try to finish the backside here of that top wing and to finish that whole object up in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Um, first of all, I think, yeah, I will create a polygon cube. So click here on polygon cube and go to the side view and move it up here. And I need to scale it down. Oops. <clears throat> and then frame it on that. Okay, so let's um, go to vertex mode. Select those vertices here, move those in Y, and then V, middle mouse, and snap it to snap it to this point here. So uh, again, I, I, I moved it here in Y, the two, or it's four vertices, and then V and middle mouse over this vertex here. And then select the lower vertices here and move those in Y, and then V, middle mouse over this vertex. Mm. I wanna go to perspective view here. And let's go to edge mode. Say control, right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. And then we can delete all the faces here on the inside. So select those faces and hit delete. So uh, let's insert another edge loop. So go here to insert edge loop, insert it here, then hit W to move uh, that edge loop, and I move it here in Y, and then V middle mouse over this point here. Okay, so it's snapped to that Y level. Now let's go to the top view. And let's move yeah let's move those vertices here in uh, x somewhere to this point here and then we can move those vertices somewhere about here um Okay, so now let's go to the top view again. Let me turn on wireframe or shade it here. And for some reason, so it changed here. So I'm used to have my perspective view up here. So that's why I'm always going there. So let's uh, just go down here and say orthographic, uh, which is the side, and go here to perspective. Better. All right. Not quite sure how to connect that. I think I have to insert another edge loop here. So go to edge loop and insert it right here. And then uh, go to the top view. Uh, let's do it in a different way. So let me uh, undo that, hit the Z, and then I want to have the edge loop here right in the center of the, uh, uh, yeah. So control, uh, right click over that edge, edge ring until it's edge ring and split. And now I'm going here and say, select those three vertices, and move those in X first, and then V middle mouse over uh, one of those vertices. And now we can, we wanted to connect that. Yeah, let's um, delete uh, this face here. And 
so uh, this one here shifts like this one so those four faces I uh, hit delete and then uh, yeah let's insert another edge loop here on uh, that object somewhere about here and then we have to move a few vertices on that so go to vertex mode select those uh, three vertices so move it here and uh, there we can do this in perspective here as well so uh, move those in X and then V middle mouse over this point here or vertex and snap it and now we can de go in here on that object and say one, two, three, four faces and hit delete. And now let's connect that. Um, first of all, we have to select both objects. Uh, so select the one here, shift select that uh, wing, and then say combine and uh, we could do in between here uh, delete the history just for performance sake here so delete the history and then we are going in here and go under edit mesh and select our um, merge vertex tool okay so I click on that and then I drag this vertex here onto its corresponding one this one It's only uh, like like drag and uh, drag and drop. Okay. Let's try to go to vertex mode, select uh, those vertices here, so from the perspective uh, so are those two up here, so if I go to wireframe you see that, those two, and let me go back to shaded mode and then I shift select this one here, so I got uh, three vertices here selected right now, and let me move those in just a little bit. And now let's select this edge here. And oh, let's let's go up here. Select this face here. Not not two, just all, only the bottom face here. And then say extrude uh, W to move the extrusion down in a Y and then uh, hit Q to exit that move tool and select this face, this face and the bottom face so I get uh, three faces selected now hit delete on the keyboard and now let's go in and s uh, take again our under edit mesh the merge vertex tool and then we snap this point to this one and <coughs> Now we have to insert a few more edge loops. So let me get my perspective camera out of the way. Uh, yeah, for some reason the side here. No, that's all right. <laughs> Just a little bit. So I'm clicking here on the X-ray mode, and then uh, insert edge loop tool. And let's insert an edge loop down here. Then I'm going back to vertex mode and move uh, some vertices here into the appropriate position of our reference image in the background. I think I'm moving this one here. So I don't want to stick uh, exactly to the uh, edge flow 
uh, it's because we, you see a bunch of triangles here uh, that's what I don't want put that here and put those there Let's check that out from the perspective yeah I think that's that's the start here and uh, we might want to insert another edge loop um, so go to edge mode select this edge and then control right click edge ring utilities to edge ring and split and now we can go in here and again uh, let me get my perspective camera out of the way um, so somehow it's a little bit hard to see for you but uh, so let me take this one here move it just a bit up so now I'm getting picky here and select this one put it here there only only a rough shape somewhere in between here and then we take this one could move it here or there somewhere here okay So now I'm thinking about um, we are go, um, going later on when we um, take every piece here and insert a more detail to, to um, uh, if we smooth that out later on. I um, hope that works here with that edge flow I created. Oh yeah, I think uh, it should work. So even if we might want to insert one or two edge loops here yeah, for some reason Maya screwed it up right now so again let me delete the history and oh yeah oh we got a triangle no no that's a quad so this is going here I'm just uh, thinking loud and again I, I still have here some edges selected for some reason but yeah Let's just uh, let's just leave it. Pretty sure that works out later on. And if not, oh, we might want to fix um, that edge flow here later. Okay, so see you in the next video. <laughs>